Hello, hi there Aries. I hope that you are all gorgeous and well. My name is Bella and welcome to my channel. This is your love horoscope for February 2020. So let's crack straight in with what the overall themes that my spirit guides are letting you know about what you need to be aware of, most importantly for your love life. It's interesting because when they first started showing me stuff, I was like, dudes, you just showed me this for Leo. This can't be the same for Aries. And then they added one more thing. They said it's the opposite to Leo. So what I did Leo is Leo's were about them having patience, not having patience, blowing hot and cold a little bit in the way that they were, I don't know, like doing their thing <laughs> this month in February. Yours is not you. Yours is the other person doing this to you. You've got a yo-yo in your life in the way that they are giving their energy in this month. And you need to be aware of that because you're going to be left hanging out to dry sometimes this month, wondering where the heck your relationship is going, whether that person's coming back or whether this new relationship is even going to take off. Or you might be dating, you see them, you think it goes well, and then they ghost you. It's, sorry guys, it is that month for you. And in particular, if you're dating a Leo, it is definitely, <laughs> um, definitely going to be that way where it's the other person. So... First week, again, you're cutting your, your flow in the, connect, the connection you're with or the new person you're with. You're optimistic. It is fine. Then we hit the second week. Now, the important thing about the second week where some of this disruption could be influencing what's happening with you is we're going into a Mercury retrograde on the 17th, which is complicated for relationships generally and the way that we perceive that. And also it's Valentine's week. So there's a lot of more expectations in that week coupled with the kind of retrograde that could be having this effect like because it's, it's, it's a general reading i can't go into do too many things but the second week's not great guys i have to say second week you're going to feel disappointed you are not going to get the valentine thing that you desired and sorry i'm having to explain in nearly all my videos that my dogs are with me and they are snoring periodically through it so i do apologize um but basically, you, are, you don't get your Valentine's expectation or the person didn't contact you like you thought they would or you didn't have that date or you are with somebody but they got you a hoover <laughs> instead of a bunch of flowers. Like you're disappointed um, with their effort. And for some of you, that actually they just don't show up at all. They just disappear on you, which becomes uh, much more profound. You are in danger then of getting stuck too much in your head and making this have a bad reflection on you but again i just kind of want to put out there that i feel like this is more about the energy that's happening in that week than it is about you but also on the positive if that person has been like that with you you probably had a lucky escape for those of you that are in a connection it gets more positive next week so i do feel like you voice your disappointment and and it does affect that person in a much more positive way where they want to try harder in the third week but Sorry, guys, Valentine's Week doesn't feel like it's the most fabulous. So what's that forewarned, forearmed? Sorry, shoot the messenger, that kind of thing. <laughs> Just be prepared for it. Uh, again, I, there's this feeling of you guys being, a lot of you feeling like you're just left hanging. So for that, there's a lot where you might not have communication expressing that or somebody may not answer you back when you try to challenge them about it which might cause an extra irritation or frustration. Again, that's typical retrograde energy where people poorly communicate. Just know that it's part of that bag that comes with that. On the flip side, though, this is where the yo-yo happens. So next week, it improves vastly, very much. So your connection, the long-term with, gets so, so much better in the third week. If you're single, you meet a new person, who is so, so much better, very much on it, over the top, very, very, very good, you'll feel on top of the world. If you're in the third week, particularly because we are in a retrograde, those who we have old connections with, that person you've been hoping for, steps in, that maybe you expected to step in the week before, steps in in that week, making you feel on top of the world, hunky-dory. However, fourth week, and it's a leap year this year, but the fourth week, <laughs> disappointment comes again they may slip back into old patterns they may um what's the word i'm looking for they may 
if you saw my dog, she's tiny, teeny tiny, and she's not very well at the moment. So I kind of got to forgive her for snoring a little head off. Um, but I do apologise. Um, but in the fourth week, I feel like a lot of you may give up on the dating game because you're feeling like this person again set me up really high and then just ghosted me or set me up really high and said, oh, actually, I'm not ready. Or again, you'll feel like in your long term relationship, you're playing a bit of tug of war, like you have to to get the best out of them. You're having to kind of raise issues. They get better only then to slip back once they feel like they're secured and done their best for that week. That's how it is. I don't think for those who are in long term relationships that that is a symptom or a sign that your relationship is bad. I just feel like it's part of the retrograde energy, making the complacencies, making the communication, making the hard work not really be as good. And as we get out of the retrograde sort of clearly by the mid uh, mid part of March, that that should resume back to business as usual. But for those of you who I normally don't like to say if you're dating and you're single in a retrograde is never a good idea because actually that pattern of meeting somebody where it feels wonderful and then them suddenly dropping you is typical, typical, typical retrograde energy. If you can avoid dating altogether, I would. But if you are, please know you're going to have this yo-yo effect going on. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. I have to do my videos today, so I'm just... Ranting now. She stopped. Like she stopped when I'm like, <sighs> anyway. <laughs> it's like she knows I'm talking about her. I do apologise, but if I don't get these videos done today, you won't get them. And I don't want to miss any more time. Um, anyway, I will be back again next month, hopefully without a snoring puppy in the background. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.